Well, today is a hot one, but I think we're gonna try to fix up the chicken coop as best we can. So, unfortunately, we came out this morning and Buckbeak was dead. We don't know what happened. He had food, water, shade, everything that he needed, but... I don't think it was the heat, because these emus are really tough birds. They, can, they live in Australia and Brazil and they're used to the heat. So I just called the vet. They're gonna come by and take him and test him for stuff, try to figure out why he died, because it doesn't really make any sense. We're gonna go ahead and get started on our morning chores, and hopefully later today we'll hear back. But we're pretty devastated. Kevin, come look at Willow. <laughs> Willow! She's gonna jump. Willow, did you find a cool new way to peek over the fence? Oh, Willow. It's time for food. <laughs> oh, Dad, why are you letting the baby go? <laughs> okay, what do we okay. have today? Let's see how this works. Put it up on the mountain here. <laughs> there you go. Ugh. Ooh, a big old onion. Yum. It's like there's more milk over here. Oh, hello. Well, we have decided that we definitely need a mister out here because it's way too hot. We should get that mister that we were using for kiwi. Yeah, we should. Can you die in Ethan? Yep. This fan helps a little bit. But it's so dry yeah. and... All right, that's the best we could come up with. You feel it at all? Yeah, it's like making my shirt wet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Too wet? All right, we'll have to figure out a better solution. It'd be cool if we could get a mister all around this whole area. Yeah. Huh, Luna? Wouldn't you like that? Oh. <laughs> okay. Ready? All right, bye, Luna. She's a mess, look at her. Yeah, she's gonna like rub it in mud. That's the fastest I've ever seen her walk. Yeah. Are you ready, kids? <laughs> yeah, they're ready. Gotta say aye aye. <laughs> Go. Go! Let's see if Stella is still nursing from Luna. Oh my gosh. Oh, she went right for the other food. Look how big she is. Hey, you know you're not supposed to be Hey, get out, get out. Oh. Uh, Doing good, Willow? Willow already had her treat from some kids this morning, so she's not gonna jump up on the stand today, but she's doing good, and her cedar is still in, and we've got how many more days? In about five more days, we're gonna do the artificial insemination. So, it's gonna be fun.
Well, we got a call today about five more ducks that were found in a swimming pool. So now we have nine rescue ducks. So far, they're all afraid of us. They're never going to really be tame, but they're going to get to eat food and grow up and then be released back into the wild. And they can swim in our pond with us. Maybe. But well, look, Lydia is the duck whisperer. Watch this. She's really... No, they just like to relax on your hand. There you go. Go. Are you sure? Are you sure? Dad, Ethan! Ah! Okay, so hand here. Just use your hands and just push them way back in the middle. Ethan. They just like to relax. Okay. So they like to go on your hand. Just sit there. Put your, put your arm back. I don't know if they'll ever really want to swim with us. I like ever, ever enjoy it. I know. They're like, we'll stand on your hand. Look, they stand on your hand. Oh. And then they do that. Go get it, Ethan. Okay. <laughs> Hurry, someone send us a knife. I someone, think it's a really cool garden knife. Did someone use. really send us this? Uh-huh. Yeah. Let's see. I got a goat hobble. <laughs> you? It just went, it was just directed. It's for him. <laughs> yeah. So, in this picture right here, it shows you Scott. put it on goat's legs, and I think it stops them from kicking. Yeah, it might be fun to use on Tilly. See if yeah, we'll have to try it. Some really cool girl named Macy sent us this one. Someone sent us a really cool <laughs> we pouch fun. We've been missing that. We've been missing this. I don't know why that's in there. <laughs> Just in case you never got an Academy Award, we got some pink statues. I've fallen and I can't giddy up. <laughs> okay, we'll have to read through that together later. Well, thank you, the Hunt family. That is a really good pun and you'll remember it forever. Thank you to Edward because he sent us these lids. He keeps sending us all this cool stuff. Thanks for all the letters from Cameron. Maddie. Marjorie. And Jenna. How to speak to you. <laughs> Wait. I'm already fluid. <laughs> but seriously, thank you for sending us all these nice things and we will send you something back. Kitties love to play with the dogs. Alright, I got a scratching post. Alright. Ta-da! Brain no pain. The kitties are officially 10 weeks old now and they're running around and having the time of their lives. They, how do they remember where the door is? They're smart. They were checked by the vet, but they can't be spayed until they're four months old, so we've got to wait a couple more months. What's going on? Ah. Oh no, oh, someone's in the other, other end. <laughs> How was your experience? Would you rescue kitties again? Of course! <laughs> They're kitties! I would take ten more. <laughs> She's upset. Oh, Dad, you're sitting on her. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's okay, baby. <laughs> One really long cat. Oh, ah, nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she goes so yeah, fast. If you've got three kitties, you could take on four more. It's yeah. not that hard. Yeah. Once you've already gotten a group of them. Well, maybe we'll get another group of them again. You can do this all over again. Yeah. The only hard part was the bottle feeding because they wouldn't take the bottle at first and it was a big pain. Yeah. Now they're on hard food and then you give them some wet food, so it's good, mm -hmm. huh? Be nice, Chloe. 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 Like, that's very nice. Dr. Duck. Go in your hole. Go in your hole. I had a dream. Yeah. You were mine. You lit the flame. Right. Over the light. I 
my darkest day. Welcome to another episode of It's Hot and we're dying. We're dying and we don't know what to cook, so we're just gonna get stuff from the garden and try to make something happen. What did you think of it? Was it I, good? I really liked it. It was actually pretty good. Really? Yeah. It was just the zucchini, the eggplant, tomatoes, onions, garlic, all from the garden. And we like pan fried some of it. We sauteed some of it. Eggplant, I didn't know there was eggplant. Yeah, there was eggplant in it. I like it. eggplant. <gasps> now you do. Now I guess I do. Well, we just got a call back from the vet who said that he didn't see any marks on Buckbeak, so it couldn't have been a predator. There were no puncture marks or injuries, but he did test high for parasites. So he's pretty confident that that's what killed him. We were really concerned that maybe uh, we were wrong about him being able to live out in the heat, but the vet said no, that there are lots of emus and ostriches here in Arizona and they should do fine even at a young age. So, and we had given him plenty of shade. At least we can feel good that it wasn't something that we did wrong. It still is such a bummer because we were really excited to raise him here and Ethan was super excited to see him get bigger, but I guess emus just aren't in the cards for our farm. So we'll move on and um, do what we do. Realize that this is just a part of farm life. All right, it's playtime with the peacocks. You guys think? You guys put your feet together like that so they can't hop out. They're gonna hop out. Let's see. Okay, let them walk away. Kevin's determined to bond them with him. <laughs> they are bonded with me. Look, they're all bonded. Oh, and Lydia scares them. It's gonna poop right in your mouth. <laughs> they're gonna find their way all the way back to Kiwi. All right, they're happy now. Kiwi. She's such a good mother. She's been taking care of them. They're still really friendly, but they do prefer to be with her. So instead of taking them away, I think we're gonna let her raise them because she has done such a good job so far and we feel bad doing that to her. So we're gonna give up letting them be super friendly with us and letting her have fun raising them. So we'll see how it goes. 